lab is called Geodes on the Half Shell. And what we're going to do is we're going to explain how a certain kind of mineral is formed. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to refresh your memory of how a lava flow works. So Samir, if you will take the chemical and pour that into the cup. When we have a volcanic eruption on the surface of the earth, a ton of lava oozes out of the ground. But you can also see that bubbles of gas are part of the lava flow. Now, sometimes those bubbles are quite large. And so when the lava flow solidifies, it produces a cavity that's the shape of this. Now, Emily, I want you to pass that around. Tell me what you think that is. Um, a little faster, we're gonna keep just going. Just a rock. Just a rock, okay, Andy? Looks like a poop. A poop, lovely, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Jacob? It's like a really old potato. A really old potato, okay. Samir, what do you think you it got there? It looks like a type of skeleton bone thingy. Skeleton bone, okay, Menomina? Um, looks like a Fat rock. Fat rock, okay, and? A really, really bumpy rock. A really, really bumpy rock, okay. <laughs> now, what this is, is this is, go ahead and put that in there, Emily. This is a, uh, this is a bubble inside a lava flow that filled full of mineral water. Now, that bubble had minerals in it and it had water in it, but if we crack it open, go ahead, crack again, Crack again. <laughs> uh, pretend you're Thor. Beat up the sock. Okay, keep going. <laughs> you're killing my sock, dude. <laughs> there we go. One more time. Pretend it's a piñata. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, you're getting there. Yeah, give that one a whap right there. <laughs> so officially, it's a dead sock. Hit that side right there. All right, good. Now pass that to Manamana and have her unwrap it. Okay. Go ahead and pour it out onto the ground. My poor sock is dead. All right. Now, we used to have a bubble. Keep going. Come on. It's like. There you go. There you go. Okay. Now. Okay, get, get the rest of that out of there. Just unpeel it. There you go. Now pass that around to everybody so you can see that the inside is full of what? Crystals. Crystals. Okay, pass that around so everybody can take a look. Nathaniel, go ahead and pass that over there. So when that bubble full of air was trapped inside the lava flow, over time, the mineral water got down into that bubble. It filled the bubble full, the water evaporated, and what's left are the crystals. Now, is the inside of the geode hollow or is it solid? Solid. solid. Yeah, it's, it's fairly solid, but there's a little bit of space. So go ahead and put those geode pieces towards the middle of the table, and let's make our own geodes. Take uh, your copper sulfate and pour it into your cup, into your salsa cup. Pour the entire content. Now, copper sulfate is a powder, it's a solid crystal, try not to breathe it because it's a poison. And then what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to add water and fill the cup half full. Fill the cup half full with water and then stir like, well not like crazy, but stir it up and mix it and mix it and mix it. Now, the copper sulfate is a solid, but you're going to mix it with water and you're going to put it in a solution. This is the same kind of thing that sort of happens in nature. The water falls on the ground. There's all sorts of minerals present in the ground. The water absorbs those minerals and carries them down into the lava flow. The mineral water gets trapped in the bubble, and over time, the water evaporates and the minerals are left behind. Okay, so keep stirring. Is, is most of the powder gone? Yeah. Yep, okay. Now, very carefully slide the cup to your partner, and it's the partner's job to fill one of the eggshells all the way full. Make sure your cup is level. Fill it all the way full. So this is the mineral water going into the air bubble trapped in the lava flow. Hand the cup to the other person and the other person gets to do the other eggshell. So each person does one eggshell. Now when you put the eggshells out in the open, what's going to happen to the water? Is it going to stay there or is it going to evaporate? What's going to happen to the water? Is it going to stay there or is it going to evaporate? It's, evaporate. it's going to evaporate. And what happens is, is the copper sulfate is going to form beautiful crystals on the inside of the eggshell, just like the geode in the lava flow.